What is going on YouTube? Today it's a new video. Today, we're changing out the radio on the truck. The man Malone. That's the new one. That's the old one. That one's the old one's gonna be for sale soon. This one though has Apple CarPlay. Hell yeah, you know we had to have it. We had to get it. And it was a good deal. So it's pretty straightforward. It's kind of different from the one I have right here. Cause well, let me show you. So on this one, it already has all the like colors and everything, like the RCA's stuff for it. Like that. This one doesn't. It, it's all right here. And this. So I gotta pretty much do it myself. See that's that's that one says subwoofer. Rear mount, rear monitor out. Okay, I'm not worried about that. Front out R. I'm I'm hoping that's for speakers. So I'm gonna just try it out, see where they go. So that's the plan. And I'm gonna put this old radio in that box. As you can see, the box is Apple CarPlay. Sheesh. And it's all touchscreen. So this video did a good run, but we're upgrading to Apple CarPlay. Nothing's wrong with this radio. Everything's perfectly fine. It has a DVD player too, but I don't really use DVDs. So I'm trying to get the, the little mount piece, the frame to get on. And the good news is I was going to save this for the weekend, but where is it? The original colors. This. Like the wire harness that I got a long time ago for this one. Right here. They're exactly the same. So I don't need to change it out. So there's that. There's gonna go into there. It fits exactly. So I don't have to use this. I don't have to use the new one because it's exactly the same. See? The same. So whoever buys the new radio whoever buys this radio is gonna have a new like harness for it and everything. So there's that. So yeah, let's um get started. Oh, lights turned off. But yeah, we're gonna get started and finish this up. It's pretty easy. Hold on, let me close the door and then open it so we have light. I'm pretty sure you guys know how to take off your radio. So first things first, you take this off first. My e the easiest way for me to take it off is if you open your ashtray, okay, it opens up. Then you pull from the bottom right here and right here with your fingers, and it should just pop off. And then you slowly go up. Then you have to remove two harnesses. Actually, like it's actually like four. So you have one right here. You have this one right here as well. The, the cigarette bub. Yeah, that. And then you have your airbag light, like right here. So it's just those and take it off. If you have factory radio, um, I kind of forgot how to take that off. I'm pretty sure it's the same. I think it's just, I can't find the original harness. It's somewhere down there. But yeah, you just take it off and then you get to one of these, you get one of these harnesses, like on Amazon or whatever, and then put the colors to the colors. I did this a long time ago. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, it's straightforward. I think, I don't know the original pulse size for the radio to take it off. Cause I have different sizes. I had sevens up here and then I had like 732s right here. I don't remember the original bolt size, but yeah. So uh, let's uh get this bolted on and yeah, let's go. There it is, everybody. The ra the new radio. Sheesh. It looks so clean. Factory touch screen. There's the old one. Got the Apple CarPlay. It looks kind of weird, but hey, what can you do? One day, one day, I'm going to get this like, like flush. You know, like factory style. Like the newer cars. One day. I was tripping out at first. When I first got it installed. My subs were not working. I was tripping out. I was like, oh, hell no. Please don't tell me it's broken. Nope. It was all good. 
first things first was I disconnected this one and I put that one back on. I was like, okay, it's working. What's different? I went in the settings on that one. There's an on and off switch for the subs. I had that one on, then I turned it off. The subs stopped working. Well, the subs turned off. So I turned it back on. I'm like, all right, that probably has to be a setting on that one. Went on there. Yep, it was just off. So everything's good. No need to trip. But it looks good. Bussin. So this is going to be up for sale. I'm going to package it up, put it away, you know, and put it in that box. I'm going to let everybody know that it's not the factory box. I'm going to tell everybody. So it pretty much has everything that you need. Oh, I forgot. This came with the remote. I don't know what the remote's for. Remote controller. I don't know if it works. I didn't even try it. I forgot about this. We'll test it out. But this... Look, steering wheel control. I low, low key might want to try this, but I don't feel like taking out the whole steering wheel. And I don't know how that works. I might have to get someone else to do that. Rear view camera. I don't have that. Mute button. Eh, I don't really care about that. What else? Oh, yeah. Whoever buys this radio is going to get the, the, the new microphone. This is brand new. I'd rather have that one. That one just looks better than this. That's just my opinion. What else? The aux. I guess, well, technically this has to go with this radio, so it doesn't matter. Man, that's about it. I mean, this came with this as well. Series XM, XM, yeah, tuner. Uh, I'm not worried about that, so. Mm. So there's pretty much a few things I have to keep. So this is gonna go, whoever buys it. I'm going to give them the, these screws if they have their own little frame thing like this. So, yeah, these screws. Give that in the box as well because it came with the box. I'm going to put that in this bag with, with the foam. Oh, you're going to have this as well. This is the old one. This is like not really. It's USB connected and it has like a little picture. I don't have the box. It doesn't show on this either. But it'll have a little picture of the album like right here. And you know, so it's kind of like Apple Car, but not really. So there's that. I'll put that in that bag right there. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll I'll turn it on in a bit, but we'll just wait. All right, everybody. Here is the Apple Car Play. I already had a video recorded for it, but I didn't like how it came out, and mainly because I didn't want to show my location. <laughs> so here it is. It's all good, nice and dandy. Um, I do plan on getting this, like, more better, like, factory look. Like, the, unlike in the newer cars. Like, it's just there. So, yeah, there it is. It's good. It works. It's all connected. Connected on my phone right now. <laughs> but, yeah. So, I think it came out good. It wasn't that hard. So, but, yeah. Y'all need to get it. Y'all need to get your own. And my old one's gonna be for sale. I'm gonna post it up today. So, yeah. So I'll catch y'all in the next one. Take care and be safe. Peace.